Good afternoon, Lakewood families. This is Superintendent Barnes. Today, we will be sharing with you our Lakewood City Schools reopening plan. The development of this plan has taken into account feedback, suggestions, and ideas from families, faculty, staff, administrators, the Center for Disease Control, the Ohio uh, Department of Health, and the American Academy of Pediatrics. This plan rests on two important considerations, safety and academic choice. I have two members of my cabinet here with me today, Assistant Superintendent Maggie Nizwicki and Director of Teaching and Learning, Dr. Palumbo. Dr. Palumbo will review with you the four learning models that make up our plan. Mrs. Nizwicki will review with you our safety protocols. When they both have pre presented and shared their respective parts of the plan, I will once again address you and share how we plan to engage you for the balance of the summer. Dr. Palumbo, I now yield to you. Thank you, Dr. Barnes. As Dr. Barnes mentioned, our reopening plan is based heavily on two pillars. Our two pillars being safety and choice. And as a result, we have based our models around the state of Ohio's public health advisory levels. As you can see, as our uh, graphic represents, we first would, would discuss the all-in model. And that would be a situation if the Cuyahoga County is at level one or in yellow, uh, we would return to school five days a week, all students, and we would be able to promote three-foot distancing. If Cuyahoga County um, raises to a level two or a level three, in this situation as a district, we would be in a partial return model. If Cuyahoga County is orange or red, we would have a partial return. And in this type of model, half the students would come one day, the other half of the students would come the next day. Um, this would be based on students' last name, students with last names A through K attending one day, students L through Z, last names L through Z attending on the following day. If Cuyahoga County reaches the purple level or a level four, the district would transition to 100% remote learning with all students and staff at home and remote learning occurring. We did mention to you an, an academic choice option, and that academic choice option is at the bottom of the screen and references eLearning Lakewood. This is an option for families that choose to be online for the entire semester or even potentially the entire year. And with that, I am going to yield my time to uh, Assistant Superintendent Nidswicki, who will share with you our safety protocols. Good afternoon. I am gonna share with you as uh, Dr. Burns had shared earlier that our top priority, our number one priority is the safety and security of our students and our staff. And with that being said, we have ensured that we have uh, met with, consulted with many medical professionals uh, throughout the state, uh, our local professionals, and also the federal government and the guidelines they have put forth. This list that I show you today is not an exhaustive list. We will continue to add as necessary and as much as our scientists and our medical professionals continue to develop more understanding of COVID-19, we will continue to add uh, our safety protocols and precautions. 
as Dr. Palumbo had shared, we are trying to guise our plan similar to the levels put out by the state of Ohio, level one, level two, level three, and level four. With that being said, please understand that we need to, or we may need to adjust and adapt often. Therefore, with these protocols in place, we may have a school building uh, that ends up being in a level four, but the rest of the district possibly at a level two or three. And so we will continue to not just look at the county data, but our local data. Our uh, student information will tell us if they're absent and then also our teacher information on absentees. Level one, as you can see, uh, the main topics in that uh, that carry through all of the covers, or excuse me, colors, is that uh, temperatures will need to be taken at home to ensure that the students do not come to school with a temperature. Face coverings in all of our scenarios are required by staff and students. Physical distancing, distancing guidelines will be in play three feet or more in level one and level two and level three will be six foot or more. As you continue to read through those, our water fountains will be closed, but our students will be able to bring water bottles to school. We will continue to update you on all of these scenarios. We will also be looking to have um, a Google Doc that we could send out to our families so then you can ask more questions for more detail as we continue to work throughout the summer. Thank you, Dr. Barnes. Thank you, Dr. Palumbo and Mrs. Nitzwicki. Um, as stated earlier, this plan really rests on two important considerations, safety and academic choice. Tonight, you will be receiving an electronic version of the plan along with a survey. Please read the, the plan carefully and complete the survey by July 22nd. The completion of the survey will help us plan and make staffing adjustments to accommodate our family's choices. We will also be mailing a hard copy of the plan and the survey as we strive for 100% participation. We will be creating a Google form as Assistant Superintendent indicated that will allow families to submit questions after they have reviewed the plan. We will begin creating an FAQ from these questions for your reference and ours. Our entire reopening plan and FAQ will be maintained on the district's website under its own page setting. There may be the need to modify the academic calendar for the, calendar for the 2021 school year for planning purposes for both families and staff. Um, although there's no specifics to share with you right now, I will be submitting to the Board of Education my recommendation for the academic calendar at Monday night's board meeting. And finally, um, I want to once again, thank you for your patience and understanding. Thank you for your continued support of the Lakewood City Schools. Please continue to support us as we operate and plan uh, for the fall. Uh, we hope that you are safe and are well. One heartbeat, one Lakewood. Thank you.